Middle East, the birthplace of three major religions and civilization. It comprises many countries inhabited by various ethnic groups. The region is widely known for its rich Islamic culture, vast reserves of crude oil, Arab monarchs, ongoing constitutional reforms and conflicts due to various reasons. In this video, we will learn about its geography, resources and strategic importance of the region that can globally impact several major economies in the world. Please support HimFact on Patreon and help us to grow and produce more content on our channel. To support, please visit the link below in description. The Middle East is a large and diverse transcontinental region spread across northeastern Africa and west of Asia. Middle East is not a continent, it's a term used to describe geographical region. This term was originally used by the British India office in mid-19th century. Later it came as a replacement of the term Near East in the beginning of 20th century. The Middle East region consists of several small and major countries like Iran, Iraq, Syria, Turkey, Cyprus, Lebanon, Israel, Palestine, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, the UAE, Oman, Yemen and Egypt. Among all, Saudi Arabia is the biggest country by size and Bahrain is the smallest. These all countries are Muslim majority, except Israel, which is an only Jewish state on present world map. Pakistan, Afghanistan, North African countries and other Central Asian countries are also sometimes included in the Greater Middle East region. The Greater Middle East term was first used during second Bush administration in first decade of 21st century. Almost every country in the Middle East has got access to the sea. Mediterranean Sea lies to the west bordered by Turkey, Cyprus, Syria, Lebanon, Israel, Gaza Strip of Palestine and Egypt. Red Sea lies to the southwest bordered by Egypt, Saudi Arabia and Yemen. Arabian Sea is to the southeast bordered alone by Oman. There are several other water bodies that separate and connect land area. Persian Gulf alone connects many countries, especially Arab states. The UAE is at the juncture of Gulf of Oman and Persian Gulf. Gulf of Aden lies to the south of Yemen, while Sinai Peninsula of Egypt is at the juncture of Gulf of Suez and Gulf of Aqaba. Countries like Jordan and Iraq looks like landlocked, but they are not. They have little access to the sea through a small strip of land. Swiss Canal between mainland and Sinai Peninsula of Egypt and State of Hormuz are one of the most important shipping routes in the world. Most of areas of Middle East are covered by hot desert. Therefore, the climate is generally hot and arid, although winters are mild with little rain, therefore majority of its population rely on several major rivers providing irrigation to support in limited areas like Nile Delta in Egypt, River Jordan, the Tigris and Euphrates watersheds of Mesopotamia. There are very few lakes and rivers in Arabian Peninsula. For water resources, they are mostly dependent on riverbeds, known as wadis which are dry except rainy season. Middle East is home to various large ethnic groups like Arabs, Turks, Persian, Kurds and Ajaris. Other indigenous minority ethnic groups include Jews, Assyrians, Aramians, Baloch and many more. Industrialization attracted many other ethnic groups in the region. Among this migrant population are Indians, Pakistani, Chinese, Filipinos, Indonesians, and Sub-Saharan Africans. Population of Middle East mainly follows 
three major religions that are Judaism, Christianity and Islam. All these three religions were originated from Middle East. Among these all, Judaism was first which is still being practiced by the Jewish people of Israel. Christianity came as second and make up 10 to 15 percent of population in the Middle East while Islam dominates the region. Thus, world's major Muslim population is mainly concentrated here. Economy of Middle East is mainly based on crude oil it produces in the region. Most of countries that border Persian Gulf have vast reserves of crude oil. These countries are Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, United Arab Emirates, Iran, Iraq and Yemen. All these countries except Iran, Iraq and Yemen are part of GCC which stands for Gulf Cooperation Council. GCC is a regional intergovernmental political and economic union. It has its headquarters in Saudi Arabia. All current members of GCC are Arab state monarchs. Qatar, Kuwait and Bahrain are constitutional monarchies. Saudi Arabia and Oman are absolute monarchies and the UAE is a federal monarchy. Before GCC was formed in 1981, the term Khalis was used to refer this Arab-speaking inhabitants of Eastern Arabia. Khalis means descendant of coast-dwelling fish eaters. In 2011, Saudi Arabia proposed to transform GCC into Gulf Union like European Union. But this union is yet to become a reality. Gulf Union move was meant to counterbalance non-Arab and Shia Iran's influence in the region. This was not the first time when one Middle Eastern state tried to build influence into another. History of Middle East is full of such war and conflicts. The Middle East has not been easy place. The region has been long time under grip of Islamic extremism, political turnover, faltering oil prices and sectarian issues. Since Arab Spring, most of countries are unstable and every country in the region has alliance with some other foreign state. Thus, too many global powers are actively involved to maintain balance of power in the region. These global powers also have their own economic interests in the region. Because any kind of turmoil in the Middle East, especially in the oil producing countries, could lead to gas and oil crisis which would eventually leave its effect to an entire world and this was seen during Gulf War. Countries in Middle East are the biggest producers and exporters of oil in OPEC. OPEC stands for Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. It is an intergovernmental organization of 13 countries founded in Baghdad by the first five members Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and Venezuela with its headquarters based in Vienna since 1965. The Persian Gulf countries in the Middle East produces 28% of world's total oil supply. Saudi Arabia is the second largest oil producer in the world. Iraq is fourth. Iran is at number six. The UAE stands at number eight. Kuwait is at number nine and Oman stands at number 17. The Middle East region is crucial to the world economy because of large volumes of oil and gas flow through it. State of Hormuz in the Middle East, located between Oman and Iran, is the most important oil transit channel in the world. It is a narrow passage at the entrance to the Persian Gulf, hosts a daily caravan of tankers that transport roughly a third of world's oil shipment. More than 85% of crude oil that moves through it is sent to Asia. Closure of state would prompt a spike in prices that would affect world's economy. OPEC countries like Iran, the UAE, Kuwait and Qatar entirely rely on state of Hormuz for oil shipment. 
Saudi oil reserves are second largest in the world and Saudi Arabia is the world's leading oil exporter and second largest producer. Saudi mainly export its crude oil through state of Hormuz. It also has an alternative pipeline route known as petrol line or east-west pipeline. This 1170 km pipeline is a crucial infrastructure project for transportation of Saudi oil from east of the country to the west at the port of Yanbu near Red Sea for export to Europe and North Africa through Swiss Canal. Swiss Canal and some pipeline is the most important route for transportation of oil and natural gas shipment to Europe and North Africa. In 2013, these two routes accounted for about 8% of the world's seaborne oil trade. 